This chapter is really crazy and very hype. And the ending of the chapter was something that we all kind of needed. And we're finally going to get some explanations on who is this ghost warrior, because it looks like it's related to Kafka's Kaiju. And it will answer a lot of questions when we began in the beginning of the series, when we saw that that Kaiju looked at Kafka and he was just like, oh, there you are. And then just suddenly just went inside Kafka because we was wondering what did this kaiju really mean and throughout the whole series we kept seeing that this kaiju kept saying kill kaijus kill kaijus and in the past couple of chapters when we were learning the backstory of kaiju number nine it looks like that kaiju and kaiju number nine was related to some degree they know each other and it indicated that they were kind of like some friends and then some event started happening or somewhat but overall we see the ghost warrior has appeared and this is kind of like the third or second time because the first time that we saw him it was when kafka was training with hashina and throughout this chapter we see that the battle of Hashina and Narami's team up was really incredible and they're trying to take down this ancient kaiju, but it looks like this ancient kaiju is a lot more powerful. And so now when we focus towards the end of the chapter where we see that Kafka is still like unconscious, but he's trying to like get himself back unconscious and trying to heal himself to get back into the battlefield, it looks like his kaiju or the ghost warrior is trying to help Kafka beat this ancient kaiju because Kafka kept saying like, I want to get stronger. I need to get back onto the battlefield to protect my friends and protect all the people around. And this kaiju or this ghost warrior is like, hey, like I'll help you out. Tell me and I will help you. Like follow me if you agree. And it's really shocking to see that because this is kind of like Kafka's second time seeing this warrior. And so this warrior, this ghost warrior has to be related to Kafka. And this kaiju kind of had to like be a part of Kafka's ancestors or something because we're finally going to get some more lore or understanding on what is the relationship or the situation between this ghost warrior or this kaiju that's inside Kafka. But I'm interested to see what is going to happen to Kafka when he's going to be connected to this ancient ghost warrior. Are we going to see a new transformation in the next chapter or are we actually going to get the lore story on how he's connected to this kaiju or this ghost warrior because this is something that we need more explanation about. But let's focus on the beginning of the chapter and the whole chapter, what is mainly focused on was the team up that we all wanted, which was Hashina and Narami trying to fight this ancient kaiju. But we get a backstory on Narami and how he viewed Hashina. And he actually wanted Hashina to be in his squad because he used his future sight ability to see if Hashina would be able enough to join his squad and he was just like yeah you're worthy i want you your aura is strong and i want you to be in my squad and hashino was just like yeah i'll pass like i'm joining with mina and the rest of the division three and we see that narami he felt insulted he was just like how dare you like do not want to be in the first division like you know who we are and hashino was just like yeah i'm joining with mina and so with that we see that narami he has like this hatred because of hashino because hashino is so good that Hashina decided that he would not join his squad, but he would join another person's squad. But we see how both of these guys, like the two biggest powerhouse soldiers, are working together to try to go on ahead and take down this ancient demon. And all of that work was for nothing because we get a full on page on how they use all of their attacks and that demon just literally just blocked it like it was nothing and it was just really amazing just to see that even the most powerful soldiers 
I understand that they are not 100% healthy, but the fact that they are like the most powerful soldiers and they throw like the heavy hitters attacks against this ancient kaiju, that nothing didn't work against them. And it just showcased that this ancient kaiju, you're going to need a lot more to take down because it was just really amazing how they kept throwing all of their attacks against them and this ancient kaiju was able to block it like and have no effect on it and it was just really amazing but overall we're going to see what's going to happen between them because it looks like the next chapter they're going to be badly injured if it's focused on them but i feel like the next chapter is going to be focusing on kafka and this whole story and this lore about his kaiju and the connection between him and this ancient warrior. But other than that, let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this latest chapter of Kaiju number eight. Let me know down in the comment section what your guys' thoughts, theories, and all. And remember, always be decent. It's the Monotone Man. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and be